Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to use JSF templating tag to create a uniform layout for all the web pages. Suppose you are developing an enterprise application and you need the same look and feel for all all the pages or same type of layout to be used for all the pages then you can make use of JSF templating tags so you can fix the header and footer same for all the pages and just change only the content or if you want you can just fix the layout and change the header and footer for all pages header footer and content for all pages yes it is your choice to do that now we are going to see an example of how to create such a template using um, JSF framework so let's go to the example now I'm going to open a new project in Apache NetBeans so let me give the name as JSF template so here now I'm going to create the first page a JSF page let me give the name as index okay HTML is not required so just I'm going to delete this so this is my first page so before I go and design my first page I'm going to create a template and all my pages is going to follow that template okay so let me create a template right click new I'll go to JSF here you have facelet template click next here give a name for the template so my template name is common okay any name you can give and you can select what type of style you require what type of layout I'm going to select the basic layout the page which has the header and uh, footer so I just select this and click finish so here you can see this is my template you can see this is my template okay now you can see the CSS file are automatically generated okay CSS file is automatically generated and it is inside the folder CSS so I will just remove this uh, dot slash okay so it is inside the CSS folder the CSS file is available here so this is how you have to include the style sheets okay so this is my layout okay so which has uh, top bottom and content okay now in my first page I want to make use of this template so what I do in the body I use a tag UI composition okay template this is my template name common.xhtml okay I use this template now let's see how my first page looks like So you can see your first page looks like this it has a top and here is a content and it has a bottom okay suppose you want to change uh, the style how it looks I can just go to the uh, CSS okay this is my top this is my bottom and this is my center content okay so just I'm going to increase the height of all these things so let me give the height uh, it's 100 pixels for top and 100 for bottom and the content height I will increase to 400 pixels now let's see the first page so this is how your first page looks like top content and the bottom okay now I want something to be displayed in the top okay the header and footer okay and I don't want to change the header and footer I want the same header and footer for all the pages so I just go to the common template so here I want uh, like a student registration okay in the header okay and the footer I want to display at copyrights okay now let's execute and see you will have the same header and footer you can see the header and footer now if you want to increase a font size you want to align 
then I can write here I will tell align center then style font size large okay again the bottom also I will align it to the center now let's check Okay, here you have the header and here you have the footer and the content we did not change in the template because every web page will have a different content so we are not going to do that in the template okay so now let's uh, go to the first page okay so now in the first page the first page is using the template right now I don't want to modify the header and the footer I just want to modify only the content so to modify the content I have to use UI insert tag okay insert name equal to content now what I want what new content I want on my page I can write here I will just create a basic form okay I'll create a grid layout I'm just creating a label and the input text okay just creating a basic form that's it so this is my first page okay it's a password so I will create it as input secret okay then I'll create a button okay so this is my first page now let's see the output just a minute it's not getting updated just a minute okay I just made a mistake you should not use UI insert you have to use UI define okay so here also I have to change it to UI define now you can see this is my first page okay now I'm going to create another page the second page right click new JSF page let the page name be success okay I'm creating another page in this page also I want to use the same format so I will write UI composition template name of the template okay then I will define my content because content is different so I will define my content I'm not going to define the header and footer because header and footer will be the same name equal to content okay here I will write just welcome okay in my second page so in my first page I will write I will just write so in the button I'm going to write action equal to just give the name of the page that you want to go now let's execute so you can see the first page follows the same template now when I click the button I'm sorry when I click the button it goes to the second page and the second page also follows the 
same template. So like this, when you create an enterprise application, you can make the development process very easy by creating a unified layout for all the web pages by making use of JSF template. Hope you understood the session. Thank you for listening.